Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a nail tutorial for you today and the look that we're going to be recreating is here and it's a little bit of a twist on the French polish, um, obviously using different colours and my inspiration came for this from a blog that I read quite regularly which is Candy Johnson and um, she is a makeup artist in the US but also a fellow beauty guru here on um, YouTube and her blog basically shows some pictures of some nails that her, um, her and her mum had had their nails was painted by one of Candy's friends, Romy, and they, um, again, was a, a bit of a twist on the French polish using a yellow and an orange, I think, and um, I really loved it, so I thought I would try and recreate it, but put my own twist on it, so that is what we're doing today, but when I was doing it, I realised that um, actually it fits in quite well with, you know, the on-trend fashions at the moment, with the whole colour blocking, um, which seems to be in all the magazines and even on the telly this morning, but I personally Personally, along with some others I assume don't feel that one I would actually have the confidence to wear the like the coloured clothes and two I couldn't pull it off even if I tried so you know this is colour blocking without having to wear your pink jacket your orange top and your blue trousers so carry on watching and I'm going to show you how to rock the colour block okay so I've already gone ahead and done my base coat here um, which was Susie and the Lifeguard, which is from OPI, and this is quite a pearly pink colour. Um, what I've done is two coats of this, and the idea was to make it slightly fuller so that it takes away your natural whiteness of your tip, um, because we're going to try and make a smaller tip with the pink um, to give sort of the illusion of extra length on the nail there. Um, but the first bit that I'm going to do is to paint in the half moon here on both those nails. Now you could do this with the nail varnish itself, the brush that comes with it, um, but I was finding it was going on a little bit too thick, so I'm going to use a brush which is really small from my nail art brush kit, um, and that will just give you a little bit more control as to the shape that you get. So that's the thing that we would do first. And you really want to load up your brush you know, with a fair amount of polish so that you don't have to go back and um, refill the brush again. So with this you just literally are drawing on your semicircle and then fill it. And always try not to go into the cuticle too much, um, but you know if you do then you can always go back and tidy up after. And the same again on the next nail. And with this you can make it as big or small as you want. Um, try and keep it in proportion with the rest of your nail. Um, but again, personal preference on this one. So that's how simple those two are. Um, when you're obviously doing your whole hand, what you'll need to do is keep cleaning that brush in between um, each one. Otherwise the brush becomes quite hard with the nail varnish on. And for that just pop some um, nail varnish remover on some cotton wool and dab it in to clean it off. And then, so we've done that bit, and then what you're going to do is then use the proper brush applicator from the nail varnish to go along the tip here. And the idea with this is rather than taking it so that your full tip is covered, we're going to make it slightly smaller. Um, again, with this, with sort of an arched feel to it, so it gives a bit of extra length, or the illusion of extra length, I should say. And so, for that, we're literally going to take it from the edge and just swipe along the top and bring down on the other side. And so there you can see it's not gone all the way down the nail as you would with a traditional French. And we'll do the same on the other side. If you do feel you've gone slightly wrong when you do this bit, then I would suggest you wait for it to dry before trying to do a second coat because otherwise you'll end up with sort of brush strokes in there and it just will end up looking a little bit untidy. And if, like me, you just go onto the finger, just gently brush that away. So that is the simplicity of those two parts there. Now. Once those have um, dried, 
all you would then do is pop on your um, top coat just to seal them in and give them a bit of shine. But if you want to take it that little bit further like I have on this nail here, over the half moon there I've just used my nail art pen as um, the ones I normally use and I've just put some dots along the, the half moon and this just sort of gives it a bit more of a fancy look. Um, again if you want to do this do this and if not you could just leave this part out but I'm using the like the little pen part of it um, you could if you wanted to if you've got the nail art tools just use the dabbers um, you'll get the same effect from that but the idea is we're just literally going to dab a few dots along the semicircle here can't get mine to come out a second And we're literally just going to dab along the line. So you follow and So I've just done, done the same again on this one. And I'm just finishing this one off. And that is the completed look. So the next step would be pop your top coat on. I've got an OPI rapid dry top coat there. And this one's just going to seal in all the um, colours and give a real nice gloss to them. So just work over these, make sure it's all sealed and again just maybe swipe along the top of the tip there. Um, that just helps sort of stop a little bit of chipping. And that is your finished look. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tutorial today and that you're all going to go and get colour blocking. Um, if you do, then please do send me some photos. I would love to see the creations you guys come up with. Um, and also check out my blog as well. There's other nail designs and things on there. So um, I shall put the details for that and Candy Johnson's in the information box, which is just below this, um, this screen. And um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day and I shall speak to you soon. Bye.